All right. So I'm back at you with another BBMC uh, ENT mod. All right, look, we got a new launcher right here. Last time I think we were at, uh, last video I did, we were looking at the Unwind launcher, right? Which was like an Android TV uh, interface. But um, this one, you know, we found today seems to be a little more cleaner. Uh, it's simple. Not too much to it, you know, and I'll get into this what the sections are right here, right? So all the way at the top, you see it says XDS in the top left-hand corner. And then, I mean, that doesn't really do anything if you click on it. But um, right here, you have your apps. If you click on right here, it'll open up your app drawer with all your apps you have in the back. And in the far right-hand corner, you can see you have the weather. Uh, this symbol right here is for your Ethernet, lets you know what you're connected to. I'm not um, hardwired right now. I'm actually wireless, so that one's lit up. And as you can see, my time right there. Let me adjust the camera a little bit. All right. All right. So all the uh, the apps down here below are all my favorites. You'll see some apps up here by default when you um, download the app. But it's pretty much set up simple. It's not too much customization going on. You could uh, pin these by going into the apps section I showed you up top, which I'll open up and show you how to uh, co configure those and customize this uh, line right here. So, uh, yeah, I got my favorites there. If I scroll down, this is like trending videos. If you click on one of these, it'll pull it from YouTube. Uh, you know, it's not the official, official, uh, you know, Android TV interface, but it's pretty good. Has the it almost has that lean back type of thing going on. So, um, yeah, down here they have their own services, which we won't be needing those because you know we have a lot of APKs up here for free movies and TV on demand and um also some paid services of our own so um yeah pretty much i'm gonna go up to the top i'm gonna click on apps uh, make sure my cursor is up i was on bbc I'm still on bbc hmm. there we go so all right the first time you click on it it's gonna um take a couple of seconds to load up all your apps and here we go so it's going to give me a nice big wall of apps right here so as you can see um i'm going to go to one of them to show you by example i'm going to try to pick out something i don't have on the front screen uh i had another cleaner right so let's say i want to put this on the front screen inside my favorites i'll go to with my cursor uh if you're on a remote you know, like one of the most that come with the box, you can just hit the menu key. If you're on your uh, mini keyboard, you want to hold the left mouse click. And there you go. You get a menu like this where you can open the app. You can uh, go through the action uh, application info. You can add this to favorites is what we want to do. Uh, startup app. So if you click that, you can start that. set this so the app will start up on um, startup of your actual device when you power it up. And you can uninstall the app from here and you can cancel and go back. So what we're going to do is we're going to click this on the favorites. I noticed that it doesn't immediately take some time. So we're going to go back and we're going to look for C Cleaner. Maybe it takes a couple of seconds, a couple of minutes. I'm not sure. I usually just keep on doing what I'm doing and come back and it's there. So as I said, yeah, that's the only one of the only flaws I see. But um. Yeah, let's go through this real quick. It's another thing I wanted to show you guys. I can't remember. Oh, very, very, very important. With any box you have, right? These are two apps. That I, I I left this out on the Unwind Launcher, but this is a very good tip right here, right? Um, always try to get something that you can go through your recent... Try to get an AP, uh, app that will let you check all your recent tabs, right? So if I click here, you can see the last thing I, I was in was the Google Play. And the reason why is because... Oh, and this is also, let me click in here while I'm talking so you can see what app it is. This is the app you want to get from the Google Play Store, and I'll show you how to lock it in and make it your home screen. This is, you know, any generic box you have, you don't like the setup that it comes with. This is a nice uh, Android OS uh, setup type of feel. So, um, I mean, the ratings aren't that high, but I don't really think it has that many ratings and stuff like that. Um, it has about 500 downloads, but it seems pretty decent to me. And... The unwind launch is in beta phase, so I mean this one. Um, I mean, it's decent, simple. I'm, if, you, if you need something simple and easy to use, and you're looking for a very clean um, 
setup. This this looks like the one right here. But um let me back out. So yeah. When you're playing a movie, you don't want to have, oh, let's say I go on a live TV. I don't want to have Cody open in the background or Pluto or Terrarium TV because they'll kind of conflict with you. They'll, you know, um, they one will start the other one doing things like buffering or maybe closing out and stuff like that. So you always want to make sure you go here and, you know, you, you come, you park it at the corner right here. Very important. And then um, X that out. You know, and I guarantee you, your movies will play a lot better. If you clean your caches, like that um, app you see me put in there, C Cleaner and things like that, um, your box will work a lot better. So, like I said, um, let's see if that C Cleaner came in yet. I guess if I was to back out and come back into the machine, it would be there. I guess that's one of the flaws of this, of this app. But, I mean, other than that, it's pretty cool. I loaded all these up within about a couple of minutes and I was done and I mean like about five minutes a newbie anyone anyone can do this so alright what you want to do is on your box you want to find your um your settings right oh this is another thing also in Google Play Store I got I got the uh, app switcher from the Google Play Store to check the recent tabs and also this one you can also all these apps are in the Google Play Store right so this is also an app drawer I mean I can't do that setup I can't do the long holes from here and um go through all the the menus from here but i can you know select them and do what i gotta do so this is just a you know a easy shorthand shortcut for app drawer right i use this on many many uh boxes i always make a, a convenient app drawer you know for certain uh launches i have and um that recent apps tab is very important when it's time to watch a movie or live tv i'm telling you you, you use that it will go far um Okay, so what did I come in here for? All right, so yeah, when you want to set up your home, right? You want to keep this as your home. You got to go into the settings. Let that load up, and you're just going to go to home right here. And you'll pick DigiSender Live OS, which you downloaded from the Google Play Store. You'll select that, and then when you come back, You'll hit the home button on your, um, because you, for some reason, it'll still have the same background, right? And you'll hit the home button on your keyboard or uh, on your remote, and it will switch to this. Or if you pull the plug out, put it back in, it'll, it'll automatically jump to this launcher right here, right? Which, you know, I think is pretty cool. And in my next video, I'm going to show you a nice Windows, uh, launcher for your Android TV box and I'm out